Welcome to RSS.app, the easiest way to create custom RSS feeds, widgets, and alerts from almost any website. In this quick walkthrough, I'll show you how to create your first feed, customize it, and share it. Once you sign in to RSS app, click Create New Feed. You'll be taken to the RSS generator. Here, you can paste in the URL of almost any website, social media profile, or news source. Then, click Generate, and within a few seconds, a feed with the latest posts from that source will appear. To keep it in your account, click Save to My Feeds. From now on, depending on your plan, RSS app will check the source URL for updates every 15 to 60 minutes and automatically add new posts to your feed. Right now, you're looking at the Feed Overview page. Here, you can see the title, images, and descriptions of every post. From this page, you can copy the XML feed link, click Edit to change the title or description, or even limit how many posts appear in the feed output. You'll also notice bots and alerts. You can send updates directly from your feed to Discord, Telegram, Slack, or email. All you need to do is log in to the platform. Choose the channel you want to receive updates in and click Save. Next, let's look at the Filters tab. Filters let you control exactly what shows up in your feed. You can hide duplicate posts or filter by keywords. With a blacklist keyword, posts containing that word will be excluded. With a whitelist keyword, only posts containing that word will be included. This gives you precise control over the content your feed delivers. In the Widgets tab, you can turn any feed into a ready-made widget for your website. RSS app includes seven pre-built designs. Newswall, List, Carousel, Image Board, Ticker, Magazine, and Feed. You can add a widget to your site as it is, or click Customize to adjust the card style, font, background color, and more. Once you're happy with the look, click Add to Website and copy the embed code. Then paste that code into your site's HTML and your feed will appear instantly. And that's it. You've just created your first feed, applied filters, set up an alert, and even added a widget to your website. Get started today at RSS app.